Fire, a tool we have been using since the dawn of time, a natural force that we may never completely control. Around the world, we have been dealing with fire in many ways, in forests, tools, celebrations, and more. But with fire comes the possibility of being burned, and those burns, large or small, are difficult to treat. Each year, 1.1 million people are burned within the United States. There are roughly 50,000 people annually that are hospitalized for severe burn treatment. What if there was a fresh solution to burn treatment? Introducing Xenobass. Xenobass is a new biological design that uses skin from the largemouth bass as a treatment for burn victims. The reason for using bass skin is twofold. First, bass skin contains a high level of collagen, which is important for the growth of new skin. Second, the exterior layer of skin provides a sterile barrier to prevent infection. An advantage of Xenobass is that it can be applied to burn wounds like regular cotton bandages. A medical practitioner simply removes the bass dressings from the package and applies them to the affected area for full coverage. In many cases, patients would see significant improvement and skin growth after the first two weeks of treatment. Although bass is traditionally a sport fish or a culinary dish, Xenobass presents fish skin as a low-cost burn treatment that helps speed up the recovery process. Currently, there are several common ways to treat severe burns, but they each seem to have a unique disadvantage. The most prominent method of treatment is to apply conventional dressings, antibacterial ointment such as bacitracin or silver sulfadiazine, and gauze bandages. The aim is to prevent infection while the wound heals itself. The second form of treatment is the traditional skin graft. However, these are costly and take a long time to heal. Even new forms of skin grafts, spray-on skin treatment called resell, may not be suitable in all circumstances. This technique, which harvests the patient's skin cells in a solution and sprays them on the wound, thereby reducing the time it takes to grow new skin, may require facilities that may not be available in all regional areas across the country. In some cases, this procedure can cost over $20,000, which may cripple some families economically. What if nature could do it better than a lab? What makes bass skin so successful in treating burn wounds is that it contains high concentrations of various types of collagen. Collagen has a wide range of uses in the medical field due to its low immunogenicity, good biocompatibility, and biodegradability. In the right conditions, collagen molecules can spontaneously form collagen fibers. Then the interaction between collagen fibers and hydrogel promotes the formation of new skin cells. While this may seem novel, this type of treatment is already being used in hospitals in Brazil. In 2018, plastic surgeon Marcelo Borges utilized tilapia skin bandages to treat burn victims. Perguntou se eu toparia fazer um tratamento com pele de tilápia. Aí me falou também, né, sobre menos dor, não precisava eu ir tomar os banhos, que é o banho que eles dão lá, que eles tira, que eles tira a pomada assim na sem anestesia, com água, puxa, ah, meu Deus do céu. Esse não, o tratamento é no leito. A gente tira as peles de tilápia que não, que não reagem na sua pele. Aí leva você para o banho, a anestesia, que é a anestesia. E aí a gente faz todo o tratamento, coloca a pele nova. Vai ser, vai ser menos dor para você. Você vai ficar menos tempo internado. Aí eu disse, quantos dias? Ele disse, de 20 a 30 é o seu topo. Eu topo na hora. Tilapia skin bandages have also been used by veterinarians in the U.S. to treat burn wounds on animals, including horses and bears. While Xenobass takes inspiration from existing tilapia bandages, it focuses on ways to treat patients in regional areas in the Midwest. In Illinois alone, there are 2,395 square miles of lakes that may be prime candidates to source the largemouth bass. Locally caught bass could then be sustained in a Bloomington-based Xenobass farm. By setting up an industrial Xenobass fish farm, we would change the Midwest from the breadbasket to the fishbowl. The Xenobass fish farm consists of a series of tanks that contain each stage of the largemouth bass life cycle. Largemouth bass have the capability to breed rapidly, as a single fish may lay anywhere between 200 to 1,000 eggs in a four to five week time span. The surviving fish will hatch and reach full adulthood after approximately 34 weeks, at which time they would be processed to create xenobass dressings. 
The Xenobass farm would be built upon a sustainable system in an effort to achieve a circular economy. Bloomington, Illinois now has a 100% renewable electric grid. Therefore, the energy used at the Xenobass farm would be completely self-sustaining. The water used in the fish tanks would be recirculated through filters to reduce water consumption. Xenobass bandages would be distributed throughout the Midwest by a fleet of electric vehicles produced by a local Rivian manufacturer. The waste from Xenobass bandages is biodegradable, leaving a low carbon footprint. Finally, the feedstock for the largemouth bass would be sourced from local farms surrounding Bloomington. With these ideas in mind, the Xenobass farm would limit its impact on the environment. Normally, after one year, the largemouth bass grows on average to 6.9 inches. After five years, they grow to 17.2 inches. With CRISPR, we expect to double or triple the size of each fish. Xenobass combines an elegant use of existing fish farming technologies with renewable energies to create a sustainable system. We use separate tanks for genetically modified fish so that escapees don't impact other species in the surrounding lakes and rivers. While some vegetarians and vegans may have ethical qualms about the use of farmed animals, we admit that xenobass may not be right for them. Xenobass is not trying to replace existing treatments like resell or skin grafts. Instead, it offers a sustainable and cost-effective solution that expands the current options for burn treatment. Xenobass bandages are visually compelling, and we expect that as they become more commonplace, they might impact other areas within our culture. By 2023, the fish face masks may be a popular skincare routine. Whether or not it's scientifically proven to be effective is a whole other matter. By 2026, the fish scale prints will be trendy on purses, leggings, and bodysuits. Everyone will rush to get their scales. By 2028, fish skin terms and emojis become household phrases. Burned like a fish! Get your scales! Fish an animal we've encountered since the dawn of time. A fresh resource that we may never control. Around the world, we have seen fish in many oceans, lakes, ponds, and more. But with fish comes the possibility of healing burns. We've all been burned before. And those burns, large or small, are no longer difficult to treat.